This is a short tutorial on how to create this animation in Touch Designer. Before we move on, please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep doing tutorials like this. Now, let's start from scratch. I've opened here a new Touch Designer project and I already split the screen, activated the top viewer and right click to deactivate the backdrop tops. Let's go ahead and press tab to create an out top to begin and turn on the render. Next, press tab again and go to SOPS and we're going to instance a box. Right click here on the box to add the geometry. Right click on the geometry to add also a camera. Now, unlike the other tutorials, we're not adding a light here because we're going to give it a constant material and by doing this, we don't need a light. Let's add a render here and connect the render to the out. To change the box size, just click on the box and resize it right here on the parameter window. Now that we have our box, let's go ahead and create a tube. Press tab, go to SOPS and add a tube. Next, let's attach a transform and a null. Ok, now let's go to the geo and turn the instancing on. What we're doing is creating a tube made out of tiny little boxes. So let's drag the null to the translate op of the geo and set the translate coordinates to P0, P1 and P2. Great, now we see our cylinder. Click on the tube and set the orientation to set axis so we have a view from the top and change the height to 1000. Now we see nothing so let's click on detail and set the rows and columns to 100 by 100. For the next step click on the transform. This part is a little tricky and I only found these values by trial and error so uh, if someone knows how to do this programmatically please leave it in the comments below. So if you change the value of the translate set the animation goes closer and further from the screen. By trying out some values I realized that if I put here the value 5.05 times 20 I get this exact same frame of the animation as if I were to put the value 0. So we're going to create a looping animation with these constraints. So press tab to create a timeline chop and activate the end. Let's attach a math here and divide the channels. Now we have here a fraction of the timeline which means here we have 0 and right here at the end we have 1. Let's attach another math to clean up the values and in the parameter window if we go to range let's change the range from 0 to 5.05. .05. Let's go back to the first math and in the parameter window we'll set the multiply to 20. Lastly let's attach here a null. I'll just move all this down here and let's put the null viewer active and drag it on top of the transform until the transform parameter window appears, drop it in the Z parameter of the translate and select chop reference. This is where the magic happens and we have our looping animation. Just a couple of steps missing and we're set. Let's open the palette up here, go to image filter and select the feedback edge. Just drag and drop it here in the middle and connect the render to the feedback edge and change the color to something you like. I'll just set it to blue and connect it to the render. Press tab and add transform here to change the background. Let's set the alpha to 1 and turn on comp over background color. And there we have it, the animation we saw in the beginning. Very easy to do and fun to look at. I hope you liked it and you find some inspiration to try this 
yourself and tweak it to create your own version. If you do try it, send a video or tag us on Instagram and stay tuned for more easy tutorials. Until then, have a great time. Bye bye.